Hey, good evening, guys. Or it might be the morning right now because I don't know when I'm going to post a video. So we'll see. I think it should be posted by this morning, probably um, late morning or something like that. Late morning. But I want to talk about this. And if I sound a little stuffy, it's because I got a little congestion. So if I sound different, that's why. But I'm taking care of that right now and been taking care of that all week. So, But does the punishment fit the crime is the title of this video. I wrote some pointers down to make a, you know, a few points of what I'm talking about. So a lot of you all may know that there are laws. There are spiritual laws and there are earthly laws. There are laws that are in the spiritual realm, okay? And those laws have been established by God. And a lot of times we break those laws, we have to endure or put up with the consequences behind breaking those said laws, whether we know that the laws exist or not. Um, a lot of times when we don't know that the laws exist, our punishment is a way of letting us know not to do that thing again because it results in something traumatic or results in an attack or results in something happening to us that we don't want to happen and misfortunes and losses and things like that um the commandments and the spiritual laws they actually give us a divine roadmap of what to do what not to do what is legal and what is illegal okay at the end of it all god is the judge though god is the judge overall we as humans can't truly judge anybody we really can't judge anyone we don't have a heaven or a hell to put anybody in and the way that God moves and the way God works, it's a lot of people that have come out of bondage that we thought was over with. Um, a lot of us thought, okay, there ain't no way they probably going to come out of that. And they end up coming out no matter how deep they were in or how, um, how hard the enemy had them bound and locked up and how they was vouching for the world. And they come out and they end up working for God. But... We have earthly judges and laws that have been put in place, a lot of which don't make any sense. A lot of them are truly very unfair. Um, it's a lot of people getting football jersey numbers for small, petty crimes, okay? And these days, honestly, you can get arrested for just about anything. Like, they fixing it to where you can, they ain't get arrested for just about anything now nowadays. Everybody don't need to go to jail now. Okay, and the question is, how does a person go from lying in their bed, in their home, in a half sleep with their child in the bed with them, going to end up going to jail and getting a harsher sentence than the person that came in into their room, into their space and, and, and attacked them um, or did something to them or started trouble or started yelling and cursing and things like that how does the person that was in their room in their bed have sleep end up getting a harsher sentence than the person that attacked them y'all that was me that was me this is the thing that happened to me and um if it wasn't for god if it wasn't for miss williams praying for me i would have really broken at that time because i couldn't understand it. why am i getting a why am i even going to jail when this person came in my space and attacked me and their excuse was because I fought back. So I had to defend myself and I went to jail. Does that make sense to y'all? Because in that moment, that person could have taken my life. Right. But I still went to jail. Right. So yeah, earthly laws, earthly demonic laws. Okay. They do anything to put people in jail. Y'all. So if you guys have any weird court cases going on, make sure you all email me. Email me. I'm going to um, send you all to Miss Williams, give you all her information so that she can help you all out of that, help you through that, um, get some of that off of you. Because a lot of times once you get in the system, it's, it's paperwork that has to be done and you have to sign things. And when there's documents being drawn in here on the on the earth they are also in the spiritual realm and you really don't want anything like that following you for the rest of your life like that you know but also god told us not to even worry about our lives so there's that but yeah whenever i went through all that miss williams cleared all of that up she cleared all of that stuff up so i'm no longer going through that mess but 
I had to make say that to make a point as to what's going on with these laws here on the earth versus in the spiritual realm. The spiritual laws are actually fair. They're fair, they're potent, they're also sensitive if broken, uh, which means that a lot of times when we commit certain crimes here on on the earthly plane, um, a lot of people don't think they got caught. You know, they don't they didn't get caught. They've done a lot of things that they don't feel like they got caught for. But the spiritual realm picks up everything, every single word that comes out of our mouths, every thought, every action, every reaction and no action at all. The spiritual realm is going to pick all of that up. God designed it that way. And um, see, I want to say this. Seeing police officers in your dreams represents bondage. It represents bondage demonic spirits and some sort of demonic attack by a high level demon okay by a high level demon and i know like i know that there are a few, a few good officers out here i know that so it's no um no negativity towards the people that are actually doing their job the correct way and the best they know how but what i am saying is every single time i've had dreams in the in the spirit about a police officer it was never anything good. It was never nothing good. It was always horrible. It was always some sort of an attack coming in the spiritual realm when I dreamt of police officers. In the spiritual realm, the police officers represent some sort of a high-level demon. Um, this is 14 years of experience that I'm just telling y'all about. Out of 14 years that I've always dreamed about, that I ever dreamed about an officer. I ended up going through some sort of a spiritual attack by a high-level demon, okay? It has never represented anything good, okay? Now, if it does in the near future, or if it does one day, I will definitely come back and let y'all know. But until then, I'm sticking with that because that's 14 years of it, y'all. All right, so the laws of the land are becoming more and more demonic. The laws are becoming more and more demonic. They're becoming more and more ridiculous, and so even though the laws that have been placed here on the land is the laws of the land, the spiritual realm is actually picking that up too. And so the spiritual realm know that a lot of it's not right. So whoever's creating these laws is going to have to answer to that. They're going to have to answer to that, y'all. Um, when it comes down to, what I got right here? Rulings. When it comes down to rulings, they're unfair. And their rule, a lot of their rulings can be very unfair as well. And are they not really thinking about the life, uh, the lives of these people? They really thinking about other stuff when they are sentencing people all of this time and, and taking people out away from their families. They're not thinking about that person's life. And if the person has children, most times they don't care. They really don't. They just looking at what they're looking at. And um, it's it's quite sad, y'all. How does that keep doing? Okay. All right. So, but in the spiritual realm fornication fornication masturbation for example it brings a ruling of an attack on the body the body can be um attached to the mind the heart of, of like i tell you all about um it's something that can harden your heart it can bring all types of dis-ease in the body all types of dis-ease and throughout the body whenever a person is in fornication and you don't even have to catch a um std or anything like that it could be other things going on with your body, all because you are in fornication. This is what a lot of people don't understand. You can start having arthritis in your legs and all types of stuff from being in fornication. You can start just having issues with your um, ovaries because you are in fornication. A lot of these people do have spirits and um, they can, in turn, give you spirits because you are in agreement with that sin with fornication and masturbation it's just an example of all of the other you know out of all of the other sins pretty much any work of the flesh brings torment to the body um you can really you can read galatians 5 and 19 through 21 is going to tell you all all the works of the flesh now the works of the flesh i'm gonna go ahead and read it to you all i know you all a lot of you all know this but the works of the flesh are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, 
revelings and such as which i tell you before and i'm not gonna read all that but yeah those are the works of the flesh i got a little carried away i was gonna keep going <laughs> but yeah it chips away at your soul all of it chips away at your soul whenever you are in fornication or in sin um and it brings about disease and rap well, not rap but things going on with the body so this is why we have to be made whole again if we are have we if we have been living a sinful life because a lot of times we have chipped away parts of ourselves chipped away parts of our souls due to us um uh, being in sin and um moving further and further away from God and so yeah the spiritual laws versus the earthly laws um the biggest difference is that God is fair and he even give people chances. A lot of times in these courthouses, they looking to take you all the way down through whatever area they need you to go. And they don't really care about the people like that. And I've said this before that, I mean, it's actually a lot I could say about it. It's, it's wicked. You know, it's wicked and it's insane. It's wicked and it's insane. You know, anybody that's probably had a courthouse experience they most likely left traumatized because they can't figure out why they being treated like they are a murderer or something like that. Whenever they just probably got a, a, a ticket for parking in the wrong spot or something like that. But yeah, that's how they do you in there. But God don't do you like, God don't do you like that. And they'll make, try to make you feel like the most horrible person in the world. That is the devil. And each time I've ever went to court, I always could, I, I could feel the Jezebel in there heavily. It's, it's more than one. Like, it's it's a bunch of them, y'all. And so, imagine my little poor soul in there just in all of that disease because I'm surrounded by Jezebel. Because I can sense Jezebel. I, can, I know when Jezebel's around because that's the spirit that has been trying to take me out ever since I was a little girl. So, um, I've gotten to the point where I just know. I know who is and who isn't um that spirit for sure now if i'm around any other spirits i can tell but i may not know exactly which one yet but that jezebel one i automatically know because it puts my spirit in a certain space okay so yeah i kind of um just want to touch on that and i hope this helps somebody get some type of perspective i hope you all could understand me i got this congestion going on and i may come back with another video i got something else i want to talk to y'all about and y'all have a blessed day, and I hope you all stay safe, and I'll talk to y'all later. Love y'all. Bye.